Hey everyone, welcome back. I want to do a quick little video today showing off my uh, Zoe Zotec ZT703S oscilloscope multimeter. Got this in a couple weeks ago. It's been sitting on my on my bench. I've played around with it a little bit. And there's a bunch of videos on YouTube, people doing teardowns and you know running through the, the basic functions of the meter. And I thought rather than rather than do what other people have done, I'd just do a quick video and show a small curve tracing setup. Um, if you want to be able to do component testing and you don't have a lot of space, you can use one of these, you can use this little handheld oscilloscope meter with a small function generator and the adapter I did in a previous video. And you could do some component curve tracing. Uh, I've got this hooked up to a Zener right now. Let's put the gain up a little bit. So the scope meter here is set for, for X, uh, two volts per division. Y, it's set for 20 millivolts per division. The function generator is putting out a 16 volt peak to peak sine wave at one kilohertz. And right now I have this connected to a Zener that is about a two, four, yeah, six, like a six and a half volt Zener. Uh, we can go to a different component here. Standard silicon diode. Uh, we can go to a Schottky diode, which is, turns out even sooner. And I'm going to go to my blue LED here, which turns on at about two, well, somewhere around around three volts. And we can we can change the. Sorry, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Let's, I can go and change the, the x-axis, one volt per division. If we want to zoom in and see better where that turn on point is, we can go back and look at this diode. In order to get a good display on this, um, I had to set the horizontal time base to uh, 100 microseconds. If I go with something lower, we get some sampling artifacts. But up at 100, it looks um, it looks it looks pretty good. So let me just get this back. Two volts per division, and we'll just. move stuff back into place, but it works nicely. Picked this up for under a hundred bucks. Zotech was having a sort of an early bird sale through a shop called uh, thedmm.com. Came with a probe, comes in a case, uh, came with an extra probe and whatnot, but if I just get this a little closer. The display isn't bad at all. Surprisingly, it does XY displays nicely. So if you don't have a lot of room on your bench and you're thinking of getting one of these handheld oscilloscope meters, I recommend the ZT2703S. It's two channels, 50 megahertz. It seems pretty good up to 50 megahertz. And it has a good XY mode. So yeah, if you're looking to do component testing, curve tracing, and you want a nice small little setup, this could be a way to go. All right, that's it. Quick video. Thanks for watching. Uh, anyone has any questions, comments, leave them down below. And, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you're so inclined. And I'll see you in the next one.